Hello, everybody. I'm Jerry Willis. Tonight on the Willis Report. Fireworks and finger pointing on Capitol Hill. Lawmakers grill the people hired to build the Obamacare websites. I think that's really kind of a lame excuse. Amazon and eBay don't crash the week before Christmas. Also, new questions why the Obamacare system, now costing a reported billion dollars, was not properly tested. But it didn't work. Didn't work. And we're going to Ottawa to investigate why the Canadians fired the computer company at the center of the Obamacare mess. You'll want to hear this. We're watching out for you tonight on The Willis Report. If you care about your health, you're going to see a lot tonight that interests you. Our top story, the rush to fix the Obamacare mess before the penalty deadline. Nobody has a clue when the problems can be fixed. We didn't get an answer to that today when the four contractors at the center of the whole mess were testifying on Capitol Hill. They all agreed on one thing, though. The government is to blame. Congresswoman Marsha Blackburn of Tennessee is the vice chair of the Energy and Commerce Committee. She was one of the Republicans leading today's investigation. She joins us now. Congresswoman, it was a marathon, four-hour uh, probe investigation. You were leading the charge. You had lots of questions. Are you satisfied with what you heard today, and do you have any idea now when these problems might be fixed? Well, we do not have any idea when the problems are going to be fixed. I'm one of those that I think it's time to just take the site down, let's get it fixed, and let's make certain that the American people know that their information is going to be protected. And Jerry, the problems continue to grow. The more we heard today, the more questions we had. So we'll be ready for Secretary Sebelius when she comes before us next week. Well, I want to talk to you about that. We're going to be there for it. It's going to be a fascinating yeah. interview. Uh, I presume she will indeed uh, show up. But today, in this four-hour hearing, what shocked me, one of the contractors said that he couldn't even sign on. Listen to this. Now, it appears one of the reasons for the high concurrent volume at the registration system was a late decision requiring consumers to register for an account before they could browse for insurance products. This may have driven higher simultaneous usage of the registration system that wouldn't have otherwise occurred if consumers could window shop anonymously. And Ms. Slava, did you personally try and get onto the system? Yes, I did. And what, for what state? I attempted, I think I put in Texas. Is that where you're from? I'm not, but I oh. was just testing the system. Well, did it work? Well, I logged on to create an account, was able to do so. Um, I just never received a confirmation email. So it didn't work? Didn't work. Never got the confirmation email. If the people who design the system can't make it work, who can? Congresswoman? Well, and nobody is able to make it work. That is, that's the problem. One of the questions I asked them today, Jerry, was uh, are they keeping their error logs? Because we right. want to see those error logs. And they were saying, well, we may have to go back to C uh, CMS and see if we can give you those error logs. But no, we want those error logs. We want to be able to have some verification of how many people people are trying to get into this system. It is unbelievable that we have spent all of this money, and I did ask them today for the amount that they have been paid in the past, what they're currently being paid to clean up this mess, and what they're being retained for for the future, which particularly pertains to Serco and Equifax. We want to know what we're really spending on this. Well, Congresswoman, I have to tell you, we were originally told something like $300 million, then $630 right. million. Tonight, there is a new report. Report, uh, out from the hill.com saying that the cost is a billion dollars. Does that surprise you? Is that even possible? See, that is, that's part of the problem, and that is why they were under oath today. I asked them for their exact, I want to know every cent. This is taxpayer money. It is not government money. They should not be wasting these taxpayer dollars doing a sloppy job on a substandard pro product and expecting us to say, oh, well, you know, these are just a few glitches. These are not glitches. No. These are enormous 
errors in a program they've had three and a half years to establish and they just well, can't do it. You know, let's talk about that because the glitches are you can't sign on, right? That's the, the first thing that the consumers have seen. Then there's the problem that the pricing is wrong, whether you're talking about deductibles, out of pocket costs, uh, Correct. Any, any number at all that you're getting. And number three, the information going to the insurers isn't right. So it fails on three different levels. Before you go, though, you asked a ton of questions about privacy. And we've yes, talked on is. this network a lot about this hidden coding which says this you have no reasonable expectation of privacy regarding any communication or data transiting or stored on this information system what did you learn today with your very specific questions what i learned today was that hipaa which is the Health Information Patient Protection Act, they're probably violating this. When you look at how that information has to be gathered, how it has to be stored, this backside coding that gives you no guarantee of privacy, that is a violation of HIPAA. We have very specific rules yeah. and regulations. Every healthcare provider, every hospital, they all have to abide by those. But it looks like CMS is choosing to circumvent the HIPAA regulations that they are foisting on everybody so else in healthcare. The government breaking the own gov uh, government's breaking own their rules. That's uh, right. Before you go, you mentioned that you thought this thing should be delayed. Big debate, lots of heat around yeah. that. Do you think the administration is going to delay this thing? Well, I have that bill that delays it for one year. We have 130 co-sponsors on it now, and there is growing bipartisan support to delay this. It is such a mess. It is off on the wrong foot. Uh, as you've said, articulated, there are so many components that are not right, and the access system for our constituents is not right. The appropriate thing to do is to delay it take it all down and get it right. Well, we'll see if it happens. I know there are at least five senators out there, Democrats, who want to right. see it stop. Congresswoman Blackburn, thanks for coming to us. Good I know to you're at home you. in Tennessee. Thank you so much. Good to be with you. Thank you, Jerry.